James Gunn's new DCU is a fraud. He's a liar. This was always the plan, people. Let's talk about it. You lying sack of shit. <laughs> Welcome back to Strong Arm Flicks. I'm your boy T Flame. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more content. You can also follow me on Vero and Twitter at T Flame G. So, Superman Legacy casting has been revealed, and David Corn Sweat has got the gig as the new Man of Steel. But let me tell you guys something here. Let me tell you why James Gunn and his new DCU is a fraud. And let me tell you exactly why that is. Because back in 2019, when Walter Hamada and Toby Emmerich were still in charge, Walter Hamada was already scouting this dude, already. And I've got an article, I'll pull it up right here for you. It's from Men's Health Magazine, or menshealth.com, from 2019. Warner, Bro Warner Brothers is reportedly eyeing a 26-year-old to replace Henry Cavill as Superman. If rumors are true, David Cornswatt is first in line to become the new Man of Steel. According to reporting last week, Warner Bros. has been compiling a list of potential actors to succeed Henry Cavill as Superman. Atop the list, American actor and Cavill lookalike David Cornsweat, 26. Cornsweat, who stars in Netflix, The Politician, told Entertainment Weekly that it is his pie-in-the-sky ambition to play Superman. Though he praised Cavill's iteration, Cornsweat said he wanted to see an upbeat, throwback version of the hero. And who does that sound like? That sounds exactly like what the studio was wanting to go for. And we got a fucking Hamadaverse, Hamada Burger universe, and it was pure garbage. It ran the fucking company bankrupt. This right here was look at the look at the date on this, people. This is 2019. Now, Gunn was brought in, and sometime around I want to say 2020, the the following year, 2020, late 2020, Gunn James Gunn was approached by Walter Hamada, and he asked him then to do a Superman movie. And Gunn, according to him, said no. He said no <coughs> because he didn't quite know how to tackle the character. No, he said yes all the way back then. And this was always in the works since all the way fucking back in 2019, and there was a power struggle. DeLuca and Abdi were in charge. We were almost about to get our universe. And Dwayne Johnson, he was he was there running along with Ke Dwayne, Cavill, DeLuca and Abdi were running the show for a bit. Around the time the Black Adam came out, Cavill came back and then right then and there after the box office didn't explode, somehow within the walls of Warner Brothers, James Gunn weaseled his way and he took control of the company. And now all he's doing is acting out the will of his master, Walter Hamada. Now what the heck, I'll laugh anyway. 